spirit coming out from the mid lane in high level pubs that they do like it's one of the those spirit heroes where you can like easily make stuff happen and they kind of yeah, needed that Ooh. they find chu and they're gonna try and lock him down with that fortunes and get that first blood boxy getting credit for it keeping an eye on this mid matchup though as the the cs starts to close up a little bit i think nisha with a couple levels has started to harass a little bit more on the bzm trying to do what he can zai again boundless strike with the jingu and will fall here to chew they're trying to at least get a trade and they will so box getting some solo experience at the moment also think to notice the enigma not an intelligence hero anymore it's a universal hero kind of fits the profile considering that enigma is i think lore first collapse star so he's like has a black hole and stuff so makes it on the strike, Sinister Gaze, Zai in trouble once again. They'll throw the Blood Grenade. They've got the Frost Shield on Yuragi. So there's the trade, and Boxy trying to come over with an early level in the Infernal Blade and the Scorched Earth. So he's got a <laughs> killing spree, and Boxy, like you said, is in her three. BZM over mid, Astro Step. He just came back to the lane. Oh my gonna God. fall in return, though. This is huge. Like, look at the XP on Earth Spirit. Taiga, let's Oracle. see if he can finish him off. Not really, 12 men. Oh! Yeah. He doesn't yep, pop it. Yep. Arrow. Wow, the surprise arrow. They don't get him. Yuragi is very Yuragi onto the high ground again. Yeah, Primal Spring once more. The Fortune's End's going out of Taiga. So Yuragi hit with the Arctic Burn, but he's not going to be slowed up enough. So Taiga able to leap away. Boxy's he just chase got charge him back. Sinister Gaze. Zai's in trouble. Boxy chasing. BZM comes in with a roll. They get that kill on a Zai. They'll look over and just miss out on finishing off the Doom. Invading enemy jungle, gonna find two bounties. Die again. Sinister gaze of the Wukong's bottom. Hold embrace, but afterwards, I don't think it's gonna be enough. And man has been known to play some of these really bad matchups and still managing to do a lot in the game. BZM cool. jumps in. Yeah, hits on to Nisha. And now the fortune's in the astral step, avoiding the arrow. Not a lot of mana left on Nisha. So the chain frost coming around, bouncing once. Not doing a lot of damage just yet, but Insania getting chased. With Yuragi making the rotation. Insania's dead to BZM. They go after Nisha. He's got the astral step, but the magnetize still pulsing. And that's going to be reapplied. The roll over that assimilate trying to get into the low He's ground. Still but gonna into the is Yuragi, and the chase is on. The chase is there. DM coming in with the Malphys. And they get the kill on Anisha. They look over at Mickey. They've got everybody here for the side of OG. Well, Mickey forced to run. And you're banking on Sark kind of bringing it back a little bit. But he needs a lot of time to get things done. The balance strike. Yuragi's back top of the black hole. And they get the kill. And this is just twin gate to twin gate. He's going to give it to Nisha so he can refill his bottle. Doom. That's going to be used on Taiga. But it pays off. Do it. Yeah. An honest work. Got to pay tribute to the Sinister meme. Sinister Gaze and Frost Blast. Nisha still holding on to that Invis rune. Now they've got the Malphys. Yuragi coming over from the side. He's got the Wukong's command. They'll get the kill into Insania. Troll and oh, Astral Step gets a little bit of distance. Aether Remnant placed down, but the roll this time lands. They've got the arrow to follow it up. That's a very dead Nisha. 13 to 5, 13 minutes into the game. And for good reason. Trying to get that Echo Saber. He's trying to get a Defusal before he even wants to start fighting. Where's Oxy getting chased? Alphys, Eidolons, body blocking. Jingu, Pounce, Leashing. They've got the Winter's Curse. That's a good and one. That should be a dead DM, and it will be. So that means no Black Hole. Not that it was off cooldown anyway. Chain doesn't connect with anybody. Fear is it really going to be much as an is dead? And he wants some more. And it lands on two. Mickey he wants, wants a big to go one. in. He's smelling blood. Astral Step. And can they get the kill to Yuragi? This would be a lot of big gold to get early on in the game. And it's going to be his. So they get the kill on Yuragi. They'll look over at Chu. And Liquid starting to piece it back together as they go and get themselves a Lich afterwards. Oh, these are some big kills for Liquid. It's a lot of gold. And Senia. Oh. <laughs> It was this cobalt that we were seeing there? Yeah, it's a good way to get some extra gold. I was like, what is that aura? I have not seen that. <laughs> Had to check. Prospect the aura. She's also going to die here. Zai using that Winter's Curse, but he, while getting this kill, the rest of OG are getting themselves in Aegis. Without Winter's Curse, it seems like they don't want to contest it right now. They feel like they can drag the 
game, dodge some of these fights, maybe get a pick off, and they also want to get Zai back into the game, and he's back. Like, I mean, that that's kind of nice. It's no joke. I'm really glad that we made this. Because, first of all, people can't die with Morphling fully shifting. Insania. Ooh, strike. He's out. Insania's going to die. Yeah. Has buyback, has false promise if they do chase. Roll in hits Nisha, and I wonder if they'll get this buyback to dissimilate. Wow. Now got over him. right to BZM. They've got the silence and the spirit vessel, the astral steps to try and get away. BZM, to where four. are you at? Rod of Atos, there's the pounce leashing, and they'll get that kill on a BZM who is so far in. He is just in too deep. Uh, you know, some 41 <laughs> might have retired, but that is certainly holding true with a move I like fire. that. They're going go to go to the chain frost of the Ice Spire. Nisha solo kill by Chu. <laughs> what is happening in this game? What the hell is going on? You see Earth move. Spirit underneath the Tier 4 tower while Tier 2 tower is still being alive. <laughs> like a long time and no one hit him, which means that he use this component to get either drums or solar craze the wind lace and now has extra ring of region that's not being used for anything doom and it is going to be committed on chew like i was saying before boxy doesn't care who he does astral step aether remnant moonlight shadow bzm in some trouble they've got the centuries down here for bzm roll nisha trying to get in front but uh, now bzm uh -oh. They escape and now Slar coming in, finding BZM once again. Fortune's end, they've rooted him up, but they're not going to get the kill. And the rotations are coming in from the rest of OG. They need to be careful. The Aether Remnant doesn't land with the balance Black strike hole. hitting here. And they'll go and get the kill on Insania. They're starting to get pretty big in terms of experience gained by them. Chain Frost bouncing, Sinister Gaze, but well, they'll be able to get kill there onto Chu. And now the Wukong's coming through. False promise onto the Void Spirit. Taiga trying to run here, but Zai's got the damage. Something we've talked about as he's continued to get some farm. He's got that Witchblade as well as the Glate here now. And the look is Mickey's in. Balance Strike goes into the ult, right clicking and going after Yuragi. They've also got themselves Nisha. He's trying to get away and just barely dies. <laughs> Doom used, but uh -oh. on the roll of BZMs. Oh no, it's gonna go to the Radiant side, the Doji. They uh -huh. need to go through the gates. So they're gonna get bonked. Bonk. Let's see. Or no, Roach is just gonna stay here. Nah, he's changing his mind. All right, he's he's going. going back. Do I stay or do I go? They're looking, they'll find themselves Oracle, and well, I oh, can't see. survive. Kicked him away. Mickey, he's chasing. He's behind them already. They they might take this fight. There's still buyback available in Oracle. Not sure if he wants to use it immediately. Can't really TP in too close. Like Shadow, That's the a big one. There's also the gem. BZM. Oh boy. If you can get that gem, you've got the vision. They go to the black hole. It's going to be on a Mickey. Mickey's in some trouble with the Wukong's right on top of him. They get the kill on a Mickey. They'll take him out. He's going to buy back immediately with the Winter Scourge now on a Yuragi. The damage, though, isn't really a lot. They buy back on Chu. He's got the outpost to come over to, and that's exactly where he's going to TP into. Infernal Blade, right clicks, coming through from Nisha, lands the Aether Remnant onto this Enigma. With the Astro Set, they get the kill on the DM. He's also got buyback. He's also got that outpost, but the Glaipnir thrown over from Zai. The control is not they there want more. onto they this Monkey this King, monkey. but they want to find him. They got the kill on the Chu once again. Fortune Zen lands on Mickey, but doesn't catch Yuragi. Goes back into the trees, now pops that PKP, and TPs out. There's not enough damage and not enough control to kill them. Things that he needs to scale. Uh-oh. Speaking of greedy, one dead. And one extra wave. Costing him another death. Boxy, he's massive. Boxy, Shiva's guard, level 16, Doom. He's becoming another core. About to overtake Earth Spirit if they take another good fight. They might Astro step, look and finding, searching, catching Chu. You got me all hyped up for it. Gem? Is there a well over there? Moonlight Shadow, Chain Frost, bouncing on the Spire. Chu taking a lot of damage. He gets uh, killed off by Nisha with the Astro step. And they've got the Glade here, and that catches BZM. And he'll be able to roll away, but the Dole Fire on him won't matter because they're not going to jump up onto the high ground. Mickey also picked up the shard for himself, which means that they will have a saving tool. It's just such a strong ability against Enigma. It also synergizes nicely with Oracle. Having that extra heal on top of False Promise feels really nice. They need to take the fight. Yuragi, he's cutting into backlines. 
Yeah, he wants to get this kill on the Zai before he's able to do anything. The Cold Embrace. At the same moment, though, BCM is dead, and Zai is able to survive with the False Promise. DM now the focus of the attention of Nisha, who doesn't have a lot of mana to work with. They go to the Black Hole. They've got the control. It's onto this Void Spirit, but over to the side is Mickey going in with Pounce and Leash on a Taiga. So they've got the control. The Witcher's Curse will get the other two heroes. And Doom is on Taiga and go after these other two, and that's exactly what they're going to do. They'll use the Doom. It's on Iragi. They'll Hurricane. take the Monkey King. They'll find DM. The Hurricane pulls him back. It's a triple kill for Mickey as they go in looking for more. Sweet the Agi on Slark. It's on to Taiga <laughs> as Mickey now under the tier four towers doesn't want to die the same way BZM did. He does have an Aegis to work Still has ulti available. Yeah, could maybe die, but he doesn't want to die. Uh, this is the problem. Like, your monkey is all about physical. There is no Maelstrom, so even if you catch Winter Wyvern, in Wukong's command, he's still not gonna die. Gets Cold Embrace off, and Sinia with the nice save. <laughs> My man is jumping. rich. And look at the next item that he's gonna buy. Ooh, it gave me. Just for spectators. Yeah, you set the alarm, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Trying to. Mickey leashing, pouncing, controlling, and killing DM. 52 seconds, and the Winter's Curse is used on BZM. The damage coming in from Zai, but there's the roll of the fortunes in, trying to keep Zai alive. That's exactly what they'll do. Boxy comes in. He says, hi, my name is Boxy, and I'm here to kill you. Harpoon, the pull, the kill. They'll take out Chu. BZM's gone. The Chain Frost, not going to do much. Uh, got to connect on Monkey anyway, and it's now time to go in. He's holding on to Shield Rune, having extra towels of damage. Makes him super tanky on top of Cheese. They have no Monkey King for 70 seconds. I don't think you can defend this. And Zai also, like the, his itemization, he picked up Revenant's Brooch. Wants to be able Ooh. to deal damage to Monkey King during Wukong's. He's also going that, for that magical axe. damage. And this game looks pretty over. There is no buyback on Monkey. Marana's dead for 30 seconds. And did he buy the axe? So he bought the axe, but he's having it delivered on the courier for Zai. I thought he was just going to buy it in the opponent's base. They'll jump in. They'll try to defend. They get the kill to Chew. He's got buyback. He'll use it. But BZM, he does not. So 65 seconds without this Earth Spirit. And <laughs> what with the false going promise, in. you can just dive into the fountain and do whatever you want. The attention from the fountain actually goes in on over to the boxy. And how long is this going to last? I, I think maybe forever. He's here in the fountain. There's the rampage for Nisha. They're clearing it up. They go to the Wukong's command. They'll finally call GG. The right clicks. The fountain doesn't do enough in time. They end up getting a kill to Nisha as well as Mickey, but it's too late. GG was called. It's a 2-0 here for Team Liquid. <laughs> They're having too much fun. Gotta love this team. Like, no matter what happens.